Hey Jackals, in this video I'll show you how to use this tiny laptop camera and make it so that you can plug it in the PC via the USB. So what we need is obviously the laptop camera, a USB cable, a soldering iron, nothing fancy, just something to get the job done, a multimeter and to make things easier to test a battery any kind of battery, you could also use the double A or triple A battery, any kind of battery that will make things easier to test. Now the main component that you need is obviously the USB camera, I won't show you how to take it out of the laptop, just search for the model number that you have of the laptop, how to disassemble it and how to get the camera out. Now what we need to do is connect the wires for the laptop camera to the USB cable. Now the USB cable has four wires plus the ground, so we have a green one, white one, red one and the black one. The red one is plus 5 volts, the black one is ground, the green one is data line positive and the white one is data line negative. This one is shielding and we won't need it. Now we need to connect these wires to these tiny wires of the laptop camera. Now how do you know which wire is which on the laptop camera? The most obvious ones are the two wires that are twisted, these are the data lines, and in my case this camera has four wires and I have to find out which wire is which. Now for the remaining wires we need to find out which one is the ground and which one is the plus. For the ground this is easy, you will just take the multimeter, set the multimeter to the beeping, it should have an icon like this. When you turn it on and connect these two probes, you should hear a beeping sound. Now how do you test it? Well in my case, this PCB has two shields. If you don't have a shield, you probably have some copper contacts in the back or in the front. So I have a copper contact here that I could use, but I'll just use one of the two shields in the front. I already know that the black wire is the one that is the ground. So you should get the signal like this. And if I would test the other wires there would be no beeping. And there is not. So I have the ground wire and the two data lines and I still need to find out which one's the positive wire that takes the 5 volts. This is where the battery comes into place and what I'll do is I'll simply connect the minus from the battery which is the black wire to the ground of the camera and then I'll connect the plus to these three lines, each one individually, and measure if there is any voltage drop. But before I do, I'll simply measure the voltage of the battery. Connect the black one to minus and plus one to the red one, set this to volt DC, and I have 3.94 volts. Now when I'll solder the wires to the battery, this won't power on because it's not 5 volts, but there will be still some usage of the power and that is what we'll measure and find out which wire is the positive. So I soldered one wire, I had to use some flux, otherwise the flux wouldn't stick. And if I test it now, I get the same voltage which means that the yellow wire is not the positive. And I already did the test of camera and now I'll solder the positive wire to the orange one. I have now soldered the orange wire to the positive side of the battery and now if I measure the connection between the negative and the positive, it says it's the same. So I guess it's not the orange wire, maybe it's the green one. Okay, let's do this final test then. This one should be it, if it's not, it means I have a poor connection. So I have a poor connection somewhere, which means that I would have to test this one by one line by connecting it to the USB. So let me connect it to the yellow one. Maybe it's the yellow one, it does have some voltage drop, but it's not consistent, so I'll use the yellow one as my positive. So everything is now connected, 
hopefully if I didn't make any mistake the PC will detect this camera when I connect it into the USB if it doesn't detect it then I have to switch the data lines and if the camera then still isn't detected that means that my positive is not the yellow wire that I have connected it to so the device wasn't detected but before I switch the red cable with another wire I'll just switch around the data lines and see if that fixes it so I wasn't successful in my first attempt and to prevent any unnecessary soldering I simply used a getter method now this is how I did it you can use anything else that will connect the two wires together so that you can find them easily now when you connect the camera you will get a notification down in the bottom right you can then also go to device manager and if it's not detected you will find it under the USB section it will have a yellow indicator if that's the case you have to switch the data lines and when it is detected it will simply be under the cameras in this case it's integrated webcam now in OBS I'll quickly add it so I'll add it now it's detected as you can see and it's also visible there is a little bit of flickering on the screen and that's because of the light okay and I have it inside OBS I can increase the size as well for now I'll disable it and maybe I also have to remove it we'll see you can then also test the webcam by going to something like webcamtests.com select it and test it so I do have to delete it from OBS if I want to test it and this will tell you what the FPS is and also what the resolution is in this case it's quite a decent webcam now if you have some dead laptops lying around this is a good way to make use of a camera to give it a new life all that's left to do is some finishing touches and a project well done